If you own an electric mobility device like an e-bike, electric scooter, or skateboard in San Francisco, the way you charge or store those devices is about to change. Yeah, today the city's Board of Supervisors voted to create safety standards for some of those popular products, the ones powered by lithium-ion batteries. Will it help keep you and your family safe and build a better Bay Area? ABC 7 News reporter Leanne Melendez is here to explain what that will look like, Leanne. Yeah, and I've noticed here in the city, which is great, more and more of those e-bikes, especially the families. Time. Yeah. They're mm -hmm. kids, they take them to school, but you know, not all batteries are created equal. The problem is that the lithium batteries, if they are damaged, refurbished, or if they come from a manufacturer that is not regulated, then we have a problem. New York has had a huge problem with these batteries. 18 people died last year in New York in battery-related fires. Now, we're not New York City. We don't have the density of that city, but the fire marshal here says he wants to get ahead of the situation before it becomes a problem. Electric bikes and e-scooters continue to be a part of San Francisco's attempt to improve urban mobility. Even city government is testing a pilot program where food delivery workers are using e-bikes instead of cars in an attempt to reduce emissions and traffic congestion. But with more of them on our streets, it was inevitable that new rules for how they are stored and charged would follow. Here's why. We sat down with San Francisco's fire marshal who showed us pictures of fires started by faulty batteries causing extensive property damage. Since 2017, the number of fires associated with a lithium iron battery has increased every year with a high of 58 in 2022. The data for 2023 is still being compiled. During that six year period, one person was killed, eight others were injured. The fire marshal says fires related to overheated lithium batteries are a serious problem. We can't put those out. They generate their own oxygen. We could put water on it to cool it and to keep other things from burning around it. But ideally is we have to wait till that fire burns out. In March, a new set of standards for charging and storing batteries used to power mobility devices will go into effect. Anyone living in a multi-unit building will now be limited to four lithium powered mobility devices per household and they must be parked when charging. Each one must be plugged into its own electrical outlet, not a power strip. The new rule doesn't apply to single family homes. But the other part of our campaign is, is give yourself a chance to get out. So if you're charging it, don't charge it by the front door when you first pull it in. The new fire code also states that refurbished and damaged batteries are not allowed. San Francisco Supervisor Aaron Peskin introduced the legislation. Number one, they should be buying products that have been certified by underwriter laboratories, UL approved, uh, that they should not be using different chargers other than the chargers that were made to go with those, that they should not be using uh, extension cords um, during charging. But repair shops like the new wheel say they now face numerous challenges because of the new regulations. Here in this warehouse we have mechanic stands mm -hmm. um, and each one of them is set up with a, an organized charging station and typically our mechanics charge the bike while they're working on it mm -hmm. uh, which is a highly safe context they're standing there with the battery um, and because of the new power strip rules uh, we will have not to find another solution that will likely mean installing new power outlets for each and every battery that needs to be charged the shop says they have never had any issues and the vast majority of the bicycles they work on have ul certified batteries clearly marked so here's how we know that so it's this is classified ul but the reality is that some of the batteries out there are not UL certified because not everyone can afford them. Remember the hoverboard fad of a few years ago and how some caught on fire? 25,000 of them were recalled. Some e-bikes and e-scooters have those cheaper batteries as well. Thousands exist in the city right now that are not UL certified. We want to make sure that people who depend on those devices for their living are able to make a transition to uh, better devices as quickly as possible. And we want to see the Board of Supervisors address that. The San Francisco Bicycle Coalition is asking for economic incentives to help people buy safe batteries. The city has also been working with companies that rent those mobility devices. To actually put them in contained cabinets, 
uh, that are fire rated and to have them on wheels so they can be pushed out of buildings. The city says this is not about punishing people, but rather building an information safety campaign. That campaign just really needs to promote the use of these devices for the sake of the city while making sure that people are doing it safely. So besides the random inspections by the fire department, who is really going to enforce this? Now, we suspect the building management, the landlords, because otherwise they could be held responsible if anything were to happen. But for now, they say it's more about informing the public, changing that mindset. Mm. There's also a bill in Congress that would regulate these batteries and do away with the ones that are poorly made. And really, in Congress, both sides are saying we have to do this. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, it's for a change. Mm -hmm. Well, just looking <laughs> at the rates of the fires that yeah. you see the increase every single year. Yeah, so correct. Something needs to become yeah. more popular. Thanks, Leanne. Sure.